Nora Ephron is being remembered today as a talent who accomplished everything she set her mind to. The Oscar-nominated screenwriter and director died yesterday of leukemia at the age of 71. Here's Corrine Winter with a look back at her life. <laughs> Considered as one of the most influential female authors and screenwriters to emerge from the 20th century, many argue that Nora Ephron was born to write. The child of well-known screenwriters and playwrights, Ephron certainly had the pedigree to eventually write for the screen, but it wasn't her first career choice. After a brief stint as a White House intern during the Kennedy administration, Ephron landed a reporter job for the New York Post. Her talent with the pen eventually caught the attention of other publications like New York Magazine, Esquire, and the New York Times. But it wasn't long before she began writing scripts, making her first splash in movies in 1983 after penning the Meryl Streep drama Silkwood. I can't quit now. The script earned Efron an Oscar nomination, but it was a romantic comedy she wrote a few years later that really put the name Nora Efron on Hollywood's map. Oh, God. When Harry met Sally about a man and a woman who explore risks of taking their friendship to the next level became a huge hit. I'll have what she's having. And Efron was suddenly high in demand, known for her humor and writing appealing female characters. Over the years, more hits followed. I'm having all of these fantasies about some man I have never even met who lives in Seattle. Like Sleepless in Seattle, which Efron co-wrote. The film starred Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks as strangers who eventually find each other. It also put Efron in the director's chair. I did not. You did too. I did and not. You've Got Mail, which brought Ryan and Hanks together again in a romantic setting. Though she had a knack for making romance work on the screen, Efron struggled with her personal life early in her career. In 1976, she married famous journalist Carl Bernstein and had two children. Their marriage ended in a messy divorce four years later and became fodder for tabloids. She would later write a book, Heartburn, that described her rocky marriage with Bernstein. Efron adapted the novel into a screenplay, of course, which co-starred Street and Jack Nicholson. But her third marriage was a success. In 1987, she tied the knot with Goodfellas screenwriter Nicholas Pileggi. How would you like to be on a television show? She continued to write and direct movies <laughs> later in her life Anyone with Bewitched in 2005. Yeah, okay. And Julie and Julia four years later, which teamed her with Meryl Streep for a third time. In all, Efron wrote more than a dozen screenplays and directed eight films. In a 2009 interview, she revealed a secret her parents taught her. Anything in life could be turned into a story, which is really the first rule of humor. Um, if you understand that, you understand everything there is about making things funny. Sound advice from a writer who helped make audiences laugh throughout her career. Kareen Winter, CNN, Los Angeles. Nora Ephron, 71 years old. She will be missed, but what accomplishment. I, I think I'd be embarrassed to say how many times I've seen When Harry Met Sally. I'll mean, have what she's having, right? I'll have what she's having. All right. Impre impressive woman, for sure. Yeah, Don thank Lillard. you. Thank, thank you. you. Newsroom continues now. Take it away, Brooke. I will indeed. Hello to all of you. I'm Brooke Baldwin.